I'm out of time and all I got is four minutes. Four minutes, hey. I'm out of time and all I got is four minutes. Welcome to Hattie Waverwire Guru. This is the second episode of the off season. I know it's been a while since you've seen me. Haven't fallen off the face of the earth. Just not much going on. Talk about the NFL until the rookie draft, of course. Um, some of you guys are going through rookie um, draft uh, already. I've already gone through my rookie draft. So I wanted to give you some insight on the rookies, really just talking about your number one overall pick. If you're in a rookie draft, uh, the person you need to focus on is your first pick. Um, other than that, it gets kind of thin. I will probably give, I'll give you a hidden gem uh, who I like who can, you can pick up in the second or third round. Uh, otherwise, this will just be um, a great update for some of you guys who are not so up to date on the rookies. Start with QB position. We'll go with Mark Sanchez. Okay, formerly of USC Trojans, and now he is on the New York Jets. Okay, uh, good situation for him. Got into a situation where he can be a starter. Uh, he is my favorite QB. Uh, I think they should go ahead and play him from the beginning, even though they want to go with their Kellen Clemens. But you know what? Start Mark Sanchez. Uh, you know, get him going. Um, and I think that could be a good use of a first pick if you're really uh, thin at uh, QB. you got to be really thin, though, because there are better positions to choose from. Uh, next is Matthew Stafford, uh, formerly a Georgia Bulldog, and now he is headed to the Detroit Lions. Um, kid is getting paid. I mean, he is the richest player in the NFL as far as, you know, contract-wise. Um, he's getting paid. And if you're getting paid, you don't sit him on the bench, even though the coach is talking about starting Dante Culpepper. Uh, and he may start for the first six weeks, but if he starts the whole season long, I doubt it. I doubt it because he's not. He's not. Matthew Stafford could even start day one. Um, this is, you know, a boomer bust pick, uh, but also is a good QB option. Of the two, I like Mark Sanchez better. Moving on to running back, uh, Chris Wells went to my Arizona Cardinals. I'm so grateful because what an amazing pick. Um, they got him uh, later in the draft than I thought he would go. But Chris Wells is a bruiser. He is going to start. Uh, could be their three down back, going to switch off with Tim Hightower. I like Chris Wells a lot, and in fact, he is my favorite uh, pick. If you have the first pick of rookie draft, I would go Chris Wells. That's who I would pick. Uh, next is no Sean Marino. He would be higher, but he didn't get into a good situation, got into the Broncos, and the Broncos are going to look like the Ravens. Uh, the Ravens with their three-headed beast, the Broncos are going to have a three-headed beast. You're going to have no Sean Marino. You're going to have Corral Buckhalter and Lamont Jordan. Um, and no Sean will get on the field, but just not as much as you'd like being a fantasy owner. Okay, If you're a Broncos fan, okay. But um, you know, as a fantasy owner, not as wild about him. But still, he's my second best running back. Moving on to wide receiver, Michael Crabtree going to San Francisco. Um, this Texas Tech kid um, is fast. Um, he got on a great situation. He's going to be on the field in day one. And if you need a wide receiver, this is a boom or bust. This kid, I don't think he's got the discipline like a Larry Fitzgerald, but he's got the potential, and if he can just stay focused, which I think is going to be real hard for him, um, you know, he's going to be good. But he got on a good situation, so that's a good wide receiver. Uh, next is Darius Hayward Bay. You know, landed on Oakland. Uh, this kid is fast, but, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Jamarcus Russell, so Darius Hayward is not one of my favorites. So let's move to a third one um, for wide receiver. We're going to talk about Jeremy Macklin. Okay, Jeremy is on an interesting situation with the Eagles. They have a lot of wide receivers, but I think they put Jeremy uh, on the field as a third wide receiver. You know, you're going to have young guys like Deshaun Jackson and Jeremy out there, and, you know, that's pretty great to have, you know, a, an older veteran quarterback and McNabb throwing to these young guys. And Jeremy, I like that pick. Uh, next is tight end. Uh, only person to talk about is Brandon Pettigrew, but even at that, the kid's just going to be there for blocking. Um, I wouldn't go wild about him. I think there's a lot better options um, out there for you at tight end, so don't go blowing a pick on Brandon. Uh, now for my hidden gym, his name is Austin Colley, and you can use this as your last pick. And if you're in a you know redraft league or in a dynasty league or you know in the rookie draft, you can pick him last. Austin Colley um, could get on the field um, on Indianapolis. So because he's he's not one of the higher tier white ride receivers, but because of his situation going to the Colts. You know, there's going to be some production there. And if you're the third wide receiver on a Colts offense, you're going to get some looks. So uh, check out Austin Collie. I think that's my hidden gem uh, for you. Okay, again, I appreciate everybody and all the support we've been getting. We just launched a draft guide. Okay, this draft guide is intended to help you draft. Okay, and we also are here to help you draft and make the most of this draft. 
I put in, I'm putting out a draft guide that's going to cost five dollars. It's actually already out for you. And the neat thing about it is it's updated in real time throughout the entire preseason. I'm pretty much going to be updating it at a minimum of once a week. I already updated it today, for instance. So I'm always updating it. You know, I'm paying attention to everything, and I'm going to be there to help you. Uh, draft and you can just look at this draft guide we have all the QBs ranked almost every single one that's available uh, all the running backs all the wide receivers and then the top 200 list in the top 200 list if you're going right into a redraft league uh, even a dynasty league you just go in let's say you're in a redraft league as they get chosen mark them off and then we'll just go down and you choose the best available if you're in a dynasty league mark off all the keepers and then start targeting those people that are left then after all those people are off the board uh, you can go right to the position by position and just go ahead and start um, taking the best available from the draft guide. So it's a five dollars. It really goes to support the site. I'm not making a house payment or a car payment from it. I need the money to you know support the site, the hosting, domain, all things that go into it, um, technology um, to make sure you're getting the absolute best. And we appreciate the support. I've already had some uh, people already purchase it, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, if you need me, I'm at Hattie Waiver Wire Guru at HattieWaverWireGuru.com and my website is Hattie, www.HattieWaverWireGuru.com uh, We appreciate all the support. Thank you so much.